Sain, Most Reverend Dr. Garigar Sain. He's my professor when I was studying in theology in Assembly of God. He is a doctorate of divinity, doctor of philosophy, and doctor of theology. So I really respect him a lot. So whatever he said, I really believe. I have no doubt about him. So since the government of Ramos requested to send a missionary in Saudi Arabia, I am the one that been chosen by Dr. Gary Garza to be sent here. And I asked him what is the reason behind of recommending me to be sent to Saudi Arabia. I have already have 10 cell groups, you know, 10 cell group, 10 charges with I managing. And 10% of their uh, Titan offering is will be go inside my pocket directly. And what is my earning when I'm going to Saudi Arabia? Then he says that your uh, earning will be remain so long as you go to Saudi Arabia for clandestine operation, do your best to convert the Muslim into Christianity. So when I arrived in Saudi Arabia since 1992, the first, in fact, when I was in the airplane, I'm thinking what kind of what I of method that I'm going to use in order to convince the Muslim to embrace Christianity. For more than nine hours or ten hours on the air, thinking what kind of theology, what kind of method that I'm going to use in order to convince really this Muslim, which before what I'm thinking about Muslim is so much negative. They are terrorists, um, they are uh, really, you know, untrusted person. When I was for that span of 10 hours thinking, you know, I blame my professor for the first time in my life. I blame him because for, for any of years we are studying in theology in Assembly of God, we discuss a lot of religion. Almost all the sect in Christianity we discuss. But for, for any of years we never discuss about the subject of Islamic religion. That's why I was really totally zero. Zero knowledge about Islam. <laughs> Now they will now Dr. Gary Garcia will be will going to send me to Saudi Arabia just to for clandestine operation to bring Christianity to the Muslim, especially to the Filipino. He said, bring them to Christianity. I said, No, I am the one you're going to choose because among my thousand students, you are the clever one. Oh, it's a bit, you know, you can yang sinabi ay nagpapano sa akin, you know. He became a moral support. Okay. okay, Doc, I said. That's why when I arrived here in Riyadh, the first thing what I did is that I looked for the Quran. What is my mission? To find only one verse. Just one verse. I need only one verse in the Quran. One ayah, an al ayah in the Quran. Hindi ko na kinakailangan pa ang basahin. No need for me to read the whole Quran. What I need only is one verse in the Quran to convince the Muslim to Christianity. What kind of verse? A verse that is illogical. A verse that is impractical. A verse that is incompetent. That is the three acid tests I've used in order to find one verse in the Quran that I may be able to use it to convince the Muslim. See, I start reading the searching the Quran. If it is if the verse is long, I use I take only three verses. If it is short, I took five verses. Then compare it to the Christianity, compare it to the theology, compare it to the method that I have been learned when I was studying theology. I start four o'clock in the afternoon, you know, I finish four o'clock early in the morning. So uh, I have eight months and sleepless night. See, 
And for that eight months, this span of eight months, searching for one loophole in the Quran, just one verse, a loophole that I can use as a weapon in order to convince the Muslim into Christianity. What I have discovered is that when I finish reading, searching the whole Quran, is that I discovered that is the religion that I belong on that time is the one who are full of mistake, who are full of contradiction. See? And this is, you know, the the most difficult situation in my life on that time. You know why? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that time, after I finished searching the Quran and I could not find any loopholes, still, I was stubborn. Teka sa puso ko pa rin. No? Ano yung dahilan? Nang katigasan ng puso ko. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already guided me to the truth. But I refuse the truth. I refuse. Di ko niya kapag Islam. Sa totoo na. Kahit nakita ko na ang patutokanan, di ko niya ka. Hanggang dumating yung pagkakataon na hindi na ako nakakakain, hindi na ako nakakatulong. No? Ang nakahandak talaga sa akin sa hindi ko pagyakap sa Islam, normal na tao lang dahil. I'm a normal person. Yung kasi kinikita sa Kristyanismo. Yun yun eh. No? 